Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. Um, if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this reading, this video, uh, where you can book a reading with me, phone call reading with me or Brandy. I do have a special running for December, so do go check that out. All right, Virgos, hope you're all doing well. Let's get into this and see what other messages for the rest of December you have. Health and Liar. Okay. <laughs> Are you lying about your health, Virgo? Oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You don't have to bring me chicken noodle soup. I'm fine. Let's see. What else? Distance. Okay. And gambling, narcissist, Communicate. Blech. Okay, looks like it's going to be a long one. All right, so, liar. Be careful of someone being sneaky. All right, let's take a look. Let's just get, let's dive right in here, Virgo. Be careful of someone being sneaky. Who is being sneaky with my Virgos? Let's take a look. Who is being sneaky with a Virgos? Hold on, you guys. I'm going to be so sad when the season's over and I won't be using these cards. I love these cards. I wish I could use them all year long. All right, let's see. Who is being sneaky with my Virgos? Please show Virgo. Okay, we're pulling one out of the bunch. Uh-oh, there's a tower moment. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Cups. And the Six. Oh, okay, I get it. Immediately, I get it. Okay. Thank God it's not a lover. Thank God. Um, listen, somebody might be asking you for a donation, and it's not me. I don't ask for donations. If you want to leave me a super chat here for Christmas for a donation, that would be great. But no, somebody, maybe a charity or some kind of event, in the next couple of weeks is going to be asking you for um, some kind of money. Right, but it's all going to, yeah, it's going to be that tower oh they might say it's for to help with uh <clears throat> people who are so, like um <sighs> disaster relief or so, be careful do your due diligence and check and see if this person or this representative or this company is legit okay they could be asking for money for charity for donations um they might be telling you they're going to give you money and then or give you something to help you out with something and it's like doesn't even belong to them big strong energy with that especially now in the holidays listen there are people every season who go into my comments here under my videos and they give you this long spiel I've, I've watched them i've read them and they seem so legit and so really it sounds like you're actually talking like they're actually a real person the way they the way they write the way it's scripted it's very creative and they are like oh yeah this this i went to this psychic and she helped me find a real lover and and i've been with my person for so long and this is the whatsapp number and you know just pay all this money Every single one of us readers on here has these these scam artists in the comments. So first and foremost, that's the energy I'm picking up here, whether it's in my comments or it's anywhere, okay? Um, with that tower energy, that means it's going to cause huge upheaval in your life. If you give or donate to someone, they're stealing from you. They're lying. That's sneaky behavior. So... Now, if 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 now if not now, then when is the best time to tell you to don't believe everything you see on the internet? <laughs> Seriously, you know everything you got to take with a grain of salt and be discerning about. You know, all right. So let's get into this. You've got health health issues could arise. Okay, Virgo, what's going on? What's going on with your health? All right, let's take a look here. I'll give you two cards. Oh, it's similar to yesterday. Now, I'm sorry. I did shuffle these cards, but I guess the, these two don't want to part. This is, though, um, for the masculines and the feminines, okay? Specifically talking to you. You're working too hard. And, and I don't blame you because times are tough. Um, but the work is affecting your health. 
going after those, you know, some of you are like, okay, well, now I'm at, now I'm on job three. Now I'm working three jobs. Um, be careful of your health with that. Okay. Um, all right. S super strong message here. So with this card, this is definitely, yeah, eating too many candy canes, eating too many gingerbread cookies. <laughs> it's all of that. Um, drinking too much, you know, um, health issues could arise for you, Virgo. Um, if you're burning the candle at both ends, that's what I feel like. You're, you're working, 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 working. And Virgos are always working, working. And then when you have some time off, you know, you're, you're going the extra mile to have fun and you're going the extra mile. You're in extremes. Be careful with your health this, this rest of this December. Um, no extremes. Don't go to any extremes. Take some time. It, it, it's kind of like, okay, well, I've got the day off, so I'm going to go, I don't know. I guess I'll, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll go hike Mount Helens, okay, on my day off. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back and I'm just going to go right back to work and work 16 hours, you know. Um, your health will be affected. Yes, don't ever do it. Okay, you've got distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, there's a little bit of conflict involved in, involved in that. Okay, this distance is causing problems. Absolutely. It's causing conflicts. You guys are arguing. Uh, if you're talking over text all the time, there's a lot of um, misconstrued messages. <laughs> um, yeah, the moon. Okay. Things are, this distance creates uncertainty. Okay. Um, and it, it, there's uncertainty, there's conflict. Maybe some arguing or some fighting. Um, there's there's trouble in Tinseltown, Virgo. That's what I feel like because of the distance. If there wasn't distance, I think it, it, there probably wouldn't be these problems. But the distance is creating voids. It's creating gaps. It's creating uncertainty. It's creating a lack of trust. Okay. And then it's creating uh, stalking. <laughs> to try to get answers, to try to fill in those gaps. Um, you might be dealing with that right now or going through that, okay? Um, that's a terrible position to be in. Uh, when there's emotional distance or uh, there's a lack of communication or there's physical distance, there's th this creates, you know, so it, could, it could be you or it could be the other person. There's Pisces energy there. Um, th this creates this desire to fill in those gaps, to make closeness, you know? So if someone is just not communicating or sharing, there could be argument in December about this uh, not really revealing feelings and, you know, it could you could be doing it or another person could be doing it to you. Um, yeah, distance is, a, distance is a problem and I feel like you might need to ask some questions and make sure everything's okay, I'm hearing. Um, or someone, if you're not talking to someone right now, or there's distance, um, there is someone here who is might be causing conflict or um, they're trying to find out, they're very curious what's going on while you guys are well, not in each other's presence. So there is a little bit of energy of like somebody seeking you out, okay, too. All right, now you've got gambling. What's going on here? gambling problems with addiction or gambling bad finances uh oh you know what listen i have to confess i'm gonna make a confession i don't gamble once in a while i'll play the lottery i can grab a ticket or something um and i i don't i don't have addictions but i will say that i started playing sim city oh my god <laughs> because i'm a weirdo and i just i love creating buildings and cities but I found myself like, I can't wait for these logs to be built. I can't, I can't wait. For, I need to get this now so my building can be upgraded and I'm spending the money on it. I'm like, what am I doing? Chipping away at that bank account. And I finally, I shut it down. I said, no more, no more. <laughs> Let me see if I have enough money in my bank account to like, I don't know, just go buy a wrench or what? I don't know. If you play SimCity, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then yeah. Okay. I get it. I'm a weirdo, but, um, be careful with spending. 
or, or indulging or um, bad habits with money or addictions or, you know, borrowing money so that you, you can gamble or pay for something that you really couldn't pay for if you didn't have the money. Okay, there's, a, there's definitely some gambling. Oh, there's a devil. I'm telling you. Be, watch it watch it Virgo this December that's all about addictions and obsessions and control and that devil energy is like feeling bound to something thinking about whether or not to give this up or spending too much or some kind of gambling habit or addiction is is leaving you broke could be somebody else too could be another person in your life who is um, spending a lot of money and they're they're bound to something they're tethered to some type of an addiction of some sort okay this could be someone that you have a romantic attachment to it could be a capricorn but um hmm get the knight of cups so there's a romantic proposal coming in huh. from this person who has an addiction problem <clears throat> let's see what's going on here are they addicted to you? Is someone obsessed with you, Virgo? Could be, could be, could be. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. Oh gosh, Virgo, man, you're getting some warnings now. You're getting some warnings here. So, um, there's someone that's going to be showing up in December who is going to be on bended knee because they're broke. And they're going to be given like, oh, I love you. Oh, can we, you know, get together? They, you know, get romantic with you because they need some money. That point blank period. Just be careful. You got some Schweister kind of energy playing out here. And of course you have narcissist here. Okay. So what does Virgo need to know about this narcissist? And we'll come back to that last card. What's going on? Someone is too full of themselves. Okay. Um... And if any of this resonates with you guys, please speak about it in the chat or leave a comment. All right, let's see. Okay. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Oh. Yeah, I just feel like there's someone here who's basically like, it's my way or the highway. And these are my plans and ideas, and this is how I'm going to execute this. And if you don't agree with my concepts or ideas, um, I'm just going to put you out. I'm going to put you down. So, you, you, like, this could be a boss for some of you. It could be, oh God, I hope it's not someone that you're close to, like, intimate with. But um, you know, there's someone who's kind of circling around who's kind of narcissistic. Or they're going to claim... I just heard that it was them who had the idea, who came up with the idea first. This person is very self-centered. Um, so if there's something going on at work or you got some kind of project or something, they're going to try to take credit for it or tell everyone that it was their idea when it wasn't. That kind of energy playing out in December as well. Um, try to shut you down. Yeah, so be careful with that, okay? You also have communicate and... This one is going to, this video reading is going to be a little bit shorter than yesterday. Um, I have a really busy week, you know, the holidays coming up, but I am going to get here every day. They may not be as long, but let's see. You've got communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. All right. Yeah. There's some kind of argument or um, maybe separation or breakup that occurs in December the end of December, so this is a message where there's an opportunity to communicate, um, to forgive, to try to work something out with someone. Let's see what else. Okay, the Fool, Aquarius Energy. Yeah, making the effort. <clears throat> this is basically like forgive, set yourselves free, someone sets you free um, from holding any grudges or anything like that. Or you set someone free, or you both do overcoming these heart, this heartbreak, or this words that were said, or something that, and healing and making the effort to improve upon some type of relationship in December. So that's really a positive message here. Okay, and I feel like that messages do communicate. 
try to try to find a resolve, um, be dipl diplomatic, um, try to talk through things. There is an energy of communicating and talking through things and just kind of saying, yeah, forgive you. Let's try to do better. And that's really good because that's healing. I feel like there's healing after some kind of argument or break. All right, let's get a couple of message of love messages of love here for you virgo okay so you do have passion try something you've never done before okay second chance this relationship deserves a second chance different pages even though you and this person don't share the same vision um, I feel like that you both have a passion for the relationship for some reason. And I think that a second chance to try to work something out is um, on the on the table here. If you want it, of course. If you want it. If you don't want it, then you don't want it. Let me see. There's also obsession. Someone, is, someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. That devil energy there and abundance. You've also done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So that's good. <coughs> Yeah, there is somebody definitely here. It's just they're obsessed with either borrowing money from you or uh, just addicted to you, and they're going to romance you because they don't like feeling left out in the cold, or they feel like really abandoned. Um, I don't think that's a reason to to want to be with someone. <laughs> I think you want to be with someone because you just love them, not because you feel abandoned. Because um, that's then desperation, needy. I don't know. Just my thoughts. I don't know what you think, but just my thoughts. Um, let me see here. I want to get a couple of island time messages here for you before I close you out. I am going to do your charms, though. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. You know, here's an unorthodox thought. You could be happy if you want to. It's, you know, and even still, I don't even think happiness should be a choice. I think it should be a way of life. Don't you think? Just my thoughts. Healthy choices. Being, it's not saying being happy. It said being happier. Okay. So you've got clock, need time, takes time, and time, circles, time to heal, progress. Okay. The clock is ticking. My biological clock is ticking. <laughs> and you have, um... I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. There's fun flirting in December, and somebody wants to date you, for sure. Um, that clock thing. I'm I'm just hearing like you need a little extra time. And even like when I was saying with the health that you might be overworking or overindulging or burning the candle at both ends, Virgo. It seems like you need to take some time, like just for you. I don't care what you do, but just shut out the world shut everybody out or just tell people if you have responsibilities or take a, some vacay i'm just taking my day please don't call me i just need to be alone i have to wash my hair i don't know this is what i'm doing this is what i plan to do and everybody just needs to back the truck up back off i need some time to myself just to sit with myself and be happy with myself and love myself yeah that's all all right let's see let's get into some initials here this could be you or another person okay september 1st september 12th somebody is 57 somebody is 65 or born in 57 or 65 i need to make that clear we have the letter a and the letter g or someone's from georgia someone's from argentina oh okay <clears throat> Letter R, initial R, 1969, and December. That's now, December 12th. That, um, when is December, wait, was that yesterday? <laughs> okay, I'm losing my mind. December 12th was Tuesday, significant day. <clears throat> and we also have February 11th, significant day. In other words, wow, that just fell out twice. Just after, just after I like shuffled there. February eleventh, a significant day. It could be somebody's birth date. Or someone you're connected to. Okay, we've got November eighth, significant day. 
September 7th could be your birthday. August 10th. And February 7th. You know what? Let me mix it up a little more here for you guys. Because I feel like... <laughs> not getting them all. Okay. May 11th. January 11th. 111. Maybe I'm calling out someone's birthday that's significant to you. Okay. January... 12th, April, hold on, I'm making up the rules as I go along here, can you tell? <clears throat> All right, April 15th, okay, December 14th, significant day, October 10th, am I calling out your person's birth date? Let me know, okay. November 8th again, and July 16th, March 12th, September 15th, all right, last but not least, November 9th, and May 15th, okay, that could be someone that you know that you're connected to, it could be their birthday, it could be a family member or a friend, uh, let's see who Virgo's Three signs. Who Virgo's person is? Zodiac sign. Taurus, Taurus, Pisces. And one more. Capricorn, Cancer, and Taurus. Okay. So if that's for you, that resonates. Great. If not, doesn't mean it's not your reading. Do keep that in mind. And let's get some charms. What do we have? Oh, okay. So, a plethora of symbols, not a plethora. All right. We have the Christian cross and the yin yang symbol. So, uh, someone follows, well, the yin yang symbol would be, isn't that like the, the Tao or uh, I don't know? know what it's connected to Buddhism or something along those lines there's two different types of religions here okay you and your person could be of different religions um, or different upbringings um, doesn't mean they don't go together but there's a difference here related to that maybe you wear a cross and maybe you have you, maybe you do both maybe it's you just doing both um, significant to someone here in this month you also have okay you ready you ready a seahorse okay so that's significant for someone here something about seahorses um i just heard same sex so there might be a same sex couple something about a same sex couple um but yeah seahorses are significant someone maybe you love them or you collect them or do something with seahorses or um maybe you have a birthmark shaped like a seahorse why not? Anything's possible. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave that message there for you. I hope that that was helpful, enlightened, or entertaining. And again, if you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below. Go over to my booking site. I have a discount that I'm running uh, the last two weeks of December. So go right ahead and book that. I've opened up some more hours. If you can't get it with me, you can also get it with Brandy. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Have a cr uh, a crantastic. <laughs> Oh, what am I even talking about? Have a fantastic day, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Love you. My heart.